I uploaded my first Pokemon video exactly one year ago today. I started this channel based on games that are over 20 years old. I was emulating some of my favorite Pokemon creators like Scott Sauce and JRose11 who do fantastic work with Gen 1 Pokemon games. But is it the most viral format or topic? Not really. So if this wasn't going to go viral or make me famous or a bunch of money, why do it? Well, Pokemon was my biggest obsession growing up. My mom has told me how I would spend hours talking about those old Game Boy games that I played growing up. These are games that bring me a lot of joy, but also I can find a lot of passion in creating content around them. It's also been a really good creative outlet to use for my degree. I have a bachelor's degree in game design and production, so this is a good opportunity for me to be able to actually dive in, hack the games, have some fun with it. But as a new creator, my content was pretty rough. I didn't have a camera to use to talk with you guys like this. I didn't have even a microphone. I was using an iPhone mic to record all of my voiceovers, and I had no experience either doing voiceover work or being on camera. Let's take a look at my first video though and just see how far I've come in one year. Solo run today. Can this fish conquer the challenge and complete the game successfully? There are so many gaps <laughs> in my voiceover. Like I'm not natural whatsoever. I'm at this point reacting as I'm watching the edited footage and like talking into the phone while watching the like finished or mostly finished edit. So my timing is all weird. I don't feel natural at all. And you can tell how nervous I was just being able to record my own voice because I'm just not used to hearing myself. I have one more level to give me more HP. My voice is also way too quiet. To get past them as soon as I, could. I did have some experience already speed running at this point. I had done 60 or 70 speed runs before filming this video. So I kind of knew what I was talking about, but my confidence was just not there at all. But that was just the beginning. I knew that I could improve the quality of these videos the more I worked on it since it was a very new thing to me. And I was right. The longer I worked on these videos and the more experience I got, the better and better they became. I went from 40 to 50 views on a video up to over a thousand each video. But that wasn't without a lot of changes and a lot of work on my side. I studied YouTube trying to find out what would work better, what I should improve, the skills I should learn. But the biggest factor at the end of the day for growing a YouTube channel that I've experienced is just connecting with you guys through the screen. Now when I'm recording, I try to speak to somebody, not just talking about the facts of the game like I was in that playthrough right there. And I didn't really know who I was talking to. Well, I was really talking to nobody at the beginning. So my lesson was that thumbnails, titles, etc., are important, but not as important as just making stuff that people want to watch and giving them a reason to watch. But at the end of the day, you are the ones that makes this channel possible. It both inspires me to keep making content and gives me an audience to talk with and enjoy these type of playthroughs with. I've gotten busier and had to adjust my strategy for making content, not only just to improve it over the year, but also just to make it sustainable for the future. I'm now streaming the yellow version solo runs each Friday instead of making edited content around it, but it allows for more videos and more live streams to be on the channel. I used to try to get one video out every week, which is kind of what they tell you to do for growing a YouTube channel. And it does work, but it's a lot of behind the scenes work and not just getting to know you guys. I do still plan on making edited content and shorts as well. This year on YouTube has been a journey. I've learned so much and gotten 1.3 million total views, 16,000 watch hours, nearly 3,000 subscribers, and $62 of ad revenue. Granted, I only joined the partner program pretty recently, but it's not a channel that's going to be a get rich quick kind of scheme. Granted, some people can turn this into a career, but my main goal is to hang out with you guys and give you a good place to hang out and talk about these nostalgic games and have a good time. And this is just the beginning. There's of course going to be a ton more coming on this channel, more live streams, more solo running. I am so happy that I took the step to upload that first video, despite what we just watched. I'm glad that I did it. The most important lesson that I think I've learned all throughout this time on YouTube so far is that I just needed to do it. I just needed to start. I mean, my content was not perfect. And with any creative endeavor, your, your first attempt is not going to be perfect. That video was kind of terrible in, in some ways, honestly, but it was a start. And that alone got me to this point where I'm a year into YouTube. I now have people that join me on live streams and hang out with me and enjoy these games and spend time and chat with me. And it's been an awesome experience. So if you're thinking about starting any creative endeavor, whether it's 
videos or art or anything. Just find some time to start, even if it's just a little simple thing. Because like me, you might look back a year down the road and say, I'm glad I did it. I also want to give a huge thank you and shout out to those who have been watching since last year when this channel started. People like Edwin who encouraged me to keep going. Thank you so much for the support and the love. You guys are fantastic. Well, that's it for this little update, but make sure to like the video so that everybody else on the channel can get to see it, as well as put in the comments what your favorite video or topic was from the channel so far, and I'll try to make more content around that type of thing. Thank you so much for watching, and that'll be it for now. See you soon.